Hello and welcome back. This is Ajinkya. So in this video, we are going to further extend our store and we'll also learn about uh, create actions uh, and also we'll learn about create slice. Uh, so let's get started. So as you can see in my previous video, uh, if I run this application, Okay, so uh, uh, while this is still running, uh, this is the application which we build. Like if you click on uh, any of the buttons, it is changing the state and which can be also spotted in the uh, Redux uh, tool, development tool, which is a plugin available to Chrome and Firefox. But uh, even though we have refactored uh, this uh, to do just to use the configure store. So previously it was using create store. We just replaced that with configure store and we just passing our reducer that is mode reducer. Of course, uh, you can add more multiple reducers. We'll see that in future videos, but just for now, we are just going to concentrate our changes only for this one single mode reducer. Okay, starting with uh, create action. So we are going to use uh, action creator uh, from Redux uh, toolkit. And let's just refactor this code. Uh, I'm just going to create a same function on the new line so that you'll notice how much lines we are going to save over here so i'm just going to say export const uh, update cat mode uh, which is going to be create action which is from redux toolkit and all it needs is the type which we already have which is this guy all right update cat mode uh so you'll notice simply straightforward form four lines we just went to one line now okay and there are still more uh, helpful benefits for this we'll see now so update cat mood uh, is an action creator now we can go ahead and even say over here instead of using this update mood uh, we can just simply pass a string over here that and that will still work all right and now this is missing right how do we get to that so simply we can say update cat mood dot type all right and let's see if it's working now okay uh, all right so it is working now uh, all i did was just simple refresh uh, refresh okay so well, let's let's just further inspect this uh, action creator from uh, redux toolkit which is create action let's just go to this thing over here inside of a component let's just console log this out what is it let's see and i'm just going to simply refresh and you'll see this is action creator is a function okay and if i even though this is a function uh, create action move dot type is still available over here and even if i say if I execute this function, you will notice that I get uh, back an object. Okay, so which is the original object. Okay, so right now the payload is missing. We can just simply pass it over here. We can just say hello. And you'll see the payload start uh, appearing over here. Okay, and let's just say I want to, instead of a hello as a string, I want to pass an object. Uh, let's say data which is uh, hello okay so now you get the idea of what is an action creator is okay i also have few more functions to this so i can go ahead and I, I even uh, like just like just call this method call to string and you'll see it displays back the type so which is a handy function already implemented uh, inside this action creator thanks to the prototype which is uh, uh, which has this two string modified uh, to return us the type of this update cat mode okay so which is doing all that okay for us okay so that's it with this create action uh, so All right, so uh, now you can see that we have already implemented uh, create action for update cat mode. Uh, let's just also implement create reducer. Uh, yes, I know I mentioned about create slice, but uh, let's just first check out the create reducer first. So I'm going to replace this normal reducer with create reducer. 
So let's just do the same thing. Uh, I'm just going to copy this constant. Const mood reducer is equal to create reducer. All right. So create reducer accepts an initial state, which is this one. Okay. And it also expects you to pass it uh, an action map. So the action map uh, either can be an anonymous function, which has a state, but we are going to use an action map as an object. The benefit of using this action map as an object is we also get one more third parameter over here. Uh, this is going to be an empty array matcher, but uh, the fourth parameter is interesting. That is what defines us the default state. You'll see why. So the action map is basically going to be uh, an object which matches this string. In our case, this is something like this and this is this is going to receive a function of course uh, we are creating an object with methods and this one going to receive a state as well as an action okay so state uh, either we can choose to return uh, and new unmuted uh, state basically we are going to return a new state like taking the existing state like how we are doing it over here like uh, so we are uh, not mutating the state but the fun fact is uh, redux toolkit already implements something called mr which allows us to mutate the state uh, uh, but uh, it's safe okay so all we have to do is state dot mood is equal to action dot payload okay and it should work now let's just simply replace this with our action creator so i'm just going to copy this and pass the dynamic uh, brackets uh, like so this will interpret the string and this is available cause of es6 and now this should work as before but the missing part is the default state. So this is when this fourth argument comes into the play. So all I have to do is pass an anonymous object which accepts a state. And I'm just going to simply return the state as it is. Okay. So this is the default uh, uh, case. So let's see if this is working now. I'm just going to delete this. And use the correct keyword export. Right. And let's say this is working. All right, it is still working fine. There are no errors over here. All right, so what is this third parameter? So this is a matcher, okay? And this guy is our default. Okay, default state. This matcher is simply uh, a function which allows us to uh, map more than one action type. We are going to deal with this matcher uh, in much more detail, but in future videos. Okay. So just for now, uh, let's just stick with the simple, simpler approach of create reducer. So, so far what we have done, we have replaced uh, the older action creator with create action. We also re replaced our reducer with create reducer. Okay. And uh, all right. So let's just talk about uh, Redux create slice. All right. So this is uh, an API available from Redux toolkit. So create slice is nothing but uh, slices of your state. So when we uh, talk about Redux state, uh, the problem with Redux state is we have to read everything from Redux state. But with help of create slice, uh, we'll just take a piece from the cake and not the entire cake. All right. So to keep it simple, 
create slice uh, allows you to take a part of the state so rather than asking for an entire cake you just take a piece of cake so create slice that's it <laughs> so let's deal with create slice now all right so now you already know what is a slice is all about let's just implement that so i'm just going to uh, delete this uh, let's just first create our slice export const mode slice yes i'm going to call this as slice you will see why and i'm just going to call the function create slice all right so create slice expects you to pass an object name so this is going to be the name of our uh, reducer uh, so in this case this is mood all right and the next parameter is the initial state which is initial state initial state is just just an object okay which is over here which has a key called mood okay and the next parameter is reducer reducers okay there is one more parameter over here uh, which is going to be kind of a builder uh, we'll see that in uh, future videos let's just deal with reducers now so reducers again same thing so what is the name of our key over here is going to be update cat mode which expects you to pass in function uh, i'm just going to simply copy this all right so now we have a mood slice which has a name which has an initial state and which has multiple reducers okay so now how do we use this mood slice i'm going to delete this we don't need the older create reducer since we are using create slice okay and now as soon as i save this our application is going to break the reason for this we have to implement and start using this so from here i'm going to call mood slice and mood slice dot reducer reducer so this mood slice dot reducer is uh, a kind of an implementation of combined reducers okay we also get one more uh, exposed very uh, exposed uh, e over here called actions we'll see that now so even if i save this now it is still breaking because remember we have deleted our uh, like this action update cat mode like we don't need action creators anymore so now when we come over here this is completely useless so all we have to import over here is mode slice okay and inside mode slice when you call mode slice mode slice allows you to use which one of them we, we already saw reducers and second one is actions so what we are interested is in actions okay so i'm just going to simply call dot actions and over here i'm going to extract the update cat mode so action is an object action map of all these keys okay so this is that particular object so update cat mode is now should be available for us to use and let's see it in action okay and if i click on things it is still working fine so that's it this is working really well uh, so in the next video we'll learn about how to use uh, async thunk uh, which is also available to us as a part of uh, redux toolkit but that's it from this video uh, this was like a very short uh, two video series about how to quickly uh, get started with using Redux Toolkit. There are a few more things to this uh, series as well. We are going to write tests. Uh, stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.